don't forget to subscribe, click the bell button for notification. Yes. You don't have to. All okay. right. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Hi guys, we are at the park today. Okay, we are at the park. It's late in the night. And you can see people are still at the park. It's late in the night. It's Dagwachinga. This particular park, you know, is my favorite park. And I love the view and everything about this park. And let me say this. It's a lovely place. You can always... Yeah. Uh, come in the evening, in the night, and there is always a lot of light, and there are a lot of people too as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you like the park? Yes, I like the park. How often do you come to this park? Not so often, because I don't have a lot of time to come here. Oh, okay. Yes. You don't have so much time to come here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, why? Because I work a lot. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's understandable. So... On weekends, sometimes I come, but it's not so often because I prefer going to other places like going to sambas. Oh, and, okay, yeah, okay. so ah, there is a lot of samba programs here in yes, Brasilia. Yes, there's a lot, a lot. Oh, really? And because yeah, a whole lot of people keep on asking me about this samba thing. You know, like going out in the night and stuff like that, yeah. and. Um, I told them there is there are places like that, but it's just that me, I'm not familiar with these places. So it's good that you know these places. Sometimes uh, I might come and then we can go so that yeah. I can also uh, show them how it looks. Yeah, so guys, sorry guys, don't forget to support us to subscribe to this channel. Click the bell button of the subscription and leave your comment at the comment section below as well. And yes, I'm here. Again, like I said, I will try as much as I can and then start with my old style of videos, you know, like interviews and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, people like it so much because they want to come to Brazil. Yeah. And if you're new, so thank you're you so welcome. much for clicking to watch this video. And for my old viewers, you are always welcome. And thank you so much for watching every single crazy video that I post, you watch them, you like them, you give them thumb up, you comment. I just want to say a very big time to thank you to you guys. Shout out to the United States of America, my viewers over there, UK too as well, London. Yes, I have met a lot of my viewers from that side. Cameroon, Uganda, uh, 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 Kenya, Ghana, Nigeria, uh, uh, Zambia, Zimbabwe, you name it. The whole of African oh continent. Shout out to you guys. And it's always good to represent your country at the comment section, like Dubai, Australia. Yes, I know you guys, you watch me too as well. So guys, uh, thank you so much. So, today's interview, it's going to be with uh, a Brazilian again, but she speaks, uh, what do you call it? She speaks English. Yes. You know, this is very good, right? At least I, I don't have to translate anything <laughs> to you guys, because most of my interviews, I have to let the person speak Portuguese and then I translate it to English but today it's fantastic but you can still mix it with Portuguese if you want okay because they, they know they know the rules yeah you can still speak the Portuguese if you want no I don't want okay so she doesn't <laughs> want to speak the Portuguese because she speaks very good English and then uh, that, that is one good thing so I don't have to worry myself oh god thank you so much um, first like I said she's a Brazilian she's from here and uh, I'm going to be asking her the questions that you guys normally ask me so that she can simply, you know, like share her part of the experience, okay? Mm -hmm. So first thing, what is your name? My name is Carolina. Okay, so you heard. Her name is Carolina. And uh, which part of Brazil are you coming from? Or which part of Brazil are you from? So I'm from Brasilia. Okay, yes. so she's a Brazilense. Yes, Brasiliense. <laughs> so you're a yeah. Brasiliense? Yes. Okay, fantastic. And Let's turn here a bit. Yeah. Okay. okay. And so I'm from Taguatinga. Taguatinga. Yes. Okay, so she's from Taguatinga. She's from yes. here. Yes. Taguatinga. If you are watching and you are from Taguatinga, you are watching me. Shout out to you guys. 
Yes. Yes. You are from Taguachinga. Yes. Mm. So you were born in Taguachinga. Yeah. Yes, I was born in Tagua. I, in fact, I live in Taguachinga for almost all my life. Okay. But I was born in Brasilia, Brasilia. Brasilia, it's yes. yeah, Brasilia. Yes, yeah. I was born in a hospital in Brasilia. Oh, okay. And then, but I live here all my life. All your life. Yes. So you are Brazilians. Yes. Where are Taguachinga, Selandia, Guará? You are Brazilians. Yes. So yes. So yeah, she's from here, you know the capital of Brazil, so she's top, you know, in Portuguese they say top, in English they say somebody is top, it means that person is a, a, is a lit person, yeah? Yeah. Yes. So yeah, uh, most of the time they, know, they normally want me to do some interviews like this with Brazilians who look just like you. Mm -hmm. So I have also do some interviews with Brazilians who are uh, white too as well uh -huh. but in your case do you consider yourself black white mixed what do you yes, consider I'm, yourself i consider myself totally black i'm a black why do you consider yourself totally black because guys look at the two of us you can yeah. tell the difference right <laughs> yeah but we brazilians we are not uh, I have some some part of my family that they are uh, like white. No, that they are like darker than me. Oh, yes. okay. They but, look like me. Yeah, some of them. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, guys, she yes. said she's sure. <laughs> I just wanted to be a bit more sure. Okay. But uh, but I consider myself totally black. Oh, it's okay. Part of my family, they we have some white people. Okay, in your family, you have white people too. In your yes. Family. So, guys, I told you guys that in Brazil, it's a very difficult task. Listen, it's a very difficult task to come across somebody who is totally uh, uh, black completely. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like the whole family black, the whole, the whole, the whole black is impossible. Yes. You understand? So, most definitely. Each and every single family, whether they are complete white, you still come across one of their families being complete black. But I, I will still talk about that. For me, they are not black people. Okay? They are still not black people for me. Mm -hmm. But why do you consider yourself black? Um, so I learned that, um, you know, because of the, the color that I am, yeah. yes, I, I think that... I consider myself more black than white, and uh, because of my beliefs. Oh, okay. What are your I, beliefs? No, I think that uh, Brazilian people we are very a, a mixture of, of things. Of, okay. Yeah, of, of, of all race. Yes. So I think that although yeah. there are some some, uh, I have. Portuguese people in my family, I have Indian people in my family, but I believe most of them are like black. Oh, okay. So because of my color, yes, the, I, I identify myself as a black person. And because I believe that this is something good for me. And for a time in the past, I didn't know that this was good. Oh, okay. So now... I understand that this is something good and I'm proud of who I am. Oh, okay. So before it wasn't like that? No. Before I thought that I didn't understand uh, a lot about culture. I didn't understand a lot about um, black people in general. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So uh, I, didn't conceive, I didn't consider myself even black or white. Okay. You yes. were in between. Yes. But now I was uh, what we call here in Brazil Morena. Oh, okay. Yes, but now I now identify myself as black, like preta, preta. But I am more preto than you. Okay, but yeah. anyway, you are telling yeah. side of the story, guys. Yeah. She's telling side of the story, and I am being sheepishly interfering. Yes. Yes. Thank you for All that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Um. Yeah, so another thing is, uh, growing up, you said you are black. Anyway, I will later on talk about this because I don't see you to be black. Mm -hmm. Most of you Brazilians who call yourself blacks, I don't see you guys to be black because I'm from Africa. Yeah. In the west of Africa, 
people who are black are just like me and they don't have uh, the kind of hair you guys have here because your hair is not a kinky hair your hair is a kelly right if you put what i looks kelly right no i don't think so it's because i'm i'm with braids but in fact my hair is really like like black origin <laughs> are you <laughs> yes. sure yes I'm because totally we sure. use we use that uh we use that to identify who is yeah, really black yeah, because yeah. When you are really black, like you said, you have to have a kinky hair. We have, we have qualities. Yeah. So we cannot simply say you are black because you are from a mixed family. Maybe your mother is a bit no, mixed, your father is a bit mixed, and then but uh, you come out hair, like this. But my hair is like that. The, the problem I, I'll is that leave I, it later because yeah. yeah now I'm not I'm wearing braids. I'm wearing braids. Yeah, wearing braids. So it's difficult yes. to, to tell. But it's also because uh, I I paint my hair. Yes. Yeah, so I. So it gets with a different uh, texture. Oh, okay. It's, it's in a different texture. Oh, okay. But if you see me, yes, uh, you, you are going to identify that my hair is. Okay, black. it's a kinky hair. Yes, it's a kinky hair. All right. So, guys, like I said in my videos, for you to be black, for me, for me, a supreme, to accept you to be black, you have to have a kinky hair, my just hair like mine. Totally if you don't have a kinky, kinky hair, you are not black. <laughs> Regardless of what your skin color might look, it can look dark. But if you have a curly hair or any other type of hair which is not black, uh, which is not kinky, then you are not black. Yeah. If you are watching I me, am. you know what I'm talking about. I am. All right, so growing up, mm. as you said, you are a Brazilian black, Afro uh, Brazilian. What were your what was your experience as Afro black growing up in so. Brazil? As I told you, in the past, uh, I didn't know that oh, okay. I was black, but I suffered a lot of prejudice. In that okay. time, I okay. thought it was just prejudice. I couldn't understand it. It was like racism. Okay, it was like racism. Under, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, so even my my uncles, that they are lighter than me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So they would uh, like prohibit me, for example, of wearing like uh, a red lipstick because, because it was too black oh, okay. to wear a red lipstick, lipstick. something okay. like that. You were so, limited from yes, some things. Yes, yes. And I was, I, in fact, I am, yes, from my mother's side, yeah. I am the, the, darker, the darker one. Oh, okay, okay. From okay. my mother's from side. Mother's so side. Um, I was like the, the pletinha. And okay. I suffered a lot of prejudice, but it was in fact racist. But okay. I didn't know about that. Oh, okay, okay. So it was it was really hard okay. dealing with that. Yeah, because my hair was the the worst one. Yes. Oh, okay. So all of those things were making part of the process. Of yeah. Making life so no, your hair is totally weird. So I would always have to uh, straighten my hair because my hair would never look beautiful or, you know, things like that. So I suffered a lot when I was a child, but I didn't understand why. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, now I do. Now I, I can see that it was just racism. Yes. Okay, so because I was a little bit different from them. From them, okay. Yes. Because they were having curly hairs and yes. straight hairs and stuff like that. Yes, yes, and yes. you had a kinky hair. Yes. Uh, okay, so guys, now you understand what I'm talking about. You have to be having a kinky Always, uh, my friends, they were always white because oh, okay. I, was always in, I was always in a community of, of white, white people. people. Okay. So I was the black one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so guys, if you are watching Brasilia, uh, most most of them are white. Mm -hmm. Okay, you come across mixed people. Okay, but uh, to come across black people like me is rare. There are places where you can see. Mm -hmm. I'll try and then go to those neighborhoods. And uh, I posted some video yesterday, but I will see if I will get the guy in question. There is one guy who look, look a little bit black like me. I will make sure I interview that guy too as well. Mm -hmm. But. So you have never been approached by any other race apart from black people or mixed people? Nowadays, you, you say, nowadays, yes. Okay. But I, I, I always try, yes. Yeah. When I, when I 
when I try to meet a person, I always try to 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 date someone that is that is black. Okay. Yes, I have tried to date white people, but I it's different. It's different. Yeah, it's like culture and then the the, the talking cultural and the is, is yes, so much. yes. Okay, don't have they, the same they, opinion, like, so it's you've, a little you've, bit you've, hard. You've mm. hung around them for some time. You've, yeah. You've dated them for a short while. Yes. But it didn't work out. Or like no, yeah, no. Like we talk and then I okay, this is not for me because it's too uh, right. Not not just uh because it's it's a <laughs> yeah. lot of uh Difference. different opinions. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The way and, they say and the way you say. Yes. So I prefer not to even touch that side. Yes. I really I tried, but it's not for me. Oh, okay, so guys, you heard uh, that is her experience as uh, what do you call it uh, as Afro Brazilian. Uh, she is simply telling you how she grew up and how uh, her experience was as Afro Brazilian. She said she went through a lot of discrimination, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's it's. If you have any other question that you think it's relevant and you want to know more. And you can let me know at the comment section because she says she has uh, always lived around white people. Yes. And she has always been the the black goat among all the white sheep. Yes. So uh, yeah, basically that that's the whole thing. But uh, have you like when you were growing up as Brazilian? Okay, let's let's look at the whole thing like Brazilian. Okay, let's. Mm -hmm. Forget about the race and the, mm -hmm. let's look at you as a Brazilian. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you think about the outside people, like the foreigners, in your in your view at that time when you were growing up? Were you having some mindset of, oh, I want to date somebody who is from a different country when you were growing up, like as a Brazilian? Or like, how, how, how do you see the whole thing like? So, um... I started studying English when I was seven years old. Oh, okay. And um, so my view of foreigners was always the United States. Oh, okay, I didn't okay, have okay. any A different. Yes. It's all America, yes. United States. Everything American. But uh, since the, uh, that from that time, yeah, uh, I always try to like watching basketball. Yeah. Or yes trying to uh, watch movies or yeah. trying to listen to songs yeah. uh, where black people sung. Yeah. Singing, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, I always try to be close to that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Because not, I, as I told you, I didn't know that I was actually black. Yeah. But I thought it was more beautiful than the other ones. Ones. Okay. okay yes. Yeah, okay. Like the, the accent. And and... It was this, this was more beautiful for me. I prefer to learn. Uh, I loved the United States, yeah. but I would go, so like, I would listen to Stevie Wonder instead of, I don't know. Beatles. Yes. Beatles. I would prefer, yeah, the white yes. white guys, you know? Yeah. Sing. <laughs> like that. White stuff. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so guys, like Michael yeah. Jordan, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan and stuff like that. He's my husband. But you've, been, know. Yeah, <laughs> but you've been to the U.S., right? Yes, I have been to the I U.S. I realize most Brazilians normally go to the U.S. at a, at a young age and then come back. Why Like why is that? I believe that they, they, they go to... Disneyland, just Disney World, okay, okay. yes. And then just come back from later. You know, I like to bring you guys this kind of interview before, but I stopped because of the, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, COVID. Yeah. So I had to stop this kind of uh, interviews because of the COVID. But mm -hmm. from time to time, I'll try and then start bringing you guys more interviews like this too as well. So what are you going to tell them, uh, the ones who want to come to Brazil? to know Brazil, what are you going to tell them as a Brazilian? Okay, so um, uh, I I am a person that really likes samba and really likes pagode. Yeah. So I'm the, like the real Brazilian yeah. girl. girl yes? Yeah, the typical one. Yes, yeah. because I like that. Yeah. So, but here we can find a lot of uh, different things. things not yeah. only samba, not only pagode. Yeah. And I believe that people here 
uh, I think we always welcome yes foreigners and um, here we don't usually I speak but most of Brazilians yeah. we don't speak English yes yeah. but we try to, to be to, helpful, to be helpful yeah. even if we don't know the yes, language, yeah. the language. Yeah. so we are always helpful yeah okay and so I guess that they will have an extra and an extra no an excellent time here Yes. They will be really welcome, so they, they will like. Yeah, so guys, <laughs> you like it, and uh, let us know at the comment section and what you think about what she said as a black being uh, Brazilian. Let me know at the comment section. And guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Tell them to subscribe to the channel, share yes, the channel, and please, also click the Yes, please, subscribe, button. subscribe well, yeah. on the channel, yes, give a like. Yes. Yes, it's important. It's very important. Yeah. Yes. All right, so guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, peace out. Yes, bye-bye. <laughs> Qualified to be called black, mm -hmm. you understand? Regardless of your skin tone, if you are white and you have kinky hair, it means you are black and just a fair guy, a fair black guy. You understand so that is our definition of uh, being black from where i come from okay because when she goes to where i come from she's not going to be considered black like she's going to be looked differently she wouldn't even know where to position herself when she she goes to where i come from in the west of africa mm -hmm. but maybe they can consider her a little bit if she if she leaves her hair yeah. they can consider her to be part of us but if she wear the braids and stuff like that, they won't consider she. They will call her a mix yeah. when she goes there. It's just All right, so in Brazilian. yeah. <laughs> it's just because in Brazil. <laughs> All right, so um, another thing is dating here in Brazil. Okay, dating here in Brazil mm -hmm. uh, as Afro Brazilian, Afro Black Brazilian. Mm -hmm. How is it like for you, Afro Black women in Brazil? In, in Brazil. How is dating like for you guys? So, um, I have two things because I have, I'm, I'm black. Yeah. And I, I'm also fat, you know, so I have two, two situations. Yeah. So I have to deal with those two things. Yeah. Guys, if you are watching me, if you think she's fat, let me know. Because I, I think she looks chubby. She's not fat. Yes. I'm but it's she thinks I, she's, she's fat, though. I lost some weight, so, but okay. I'm fat. <laughs> All right. She thinks she's fat. So if you are watching me and you think she's fat, <laughs> leave your comment at the comment section. And if you think she's black, write at the comment section. <laughs> and if you think she's mixed, write at the comment section. Let me know. It's very important. Yeah. yeah. So, um, uh, so I'm separated. Okay. Yes. So uh, I started dating, like, this year. Yeah, so because in the past, I didn't consider myself, yes, even when I, when I was uh, dating with my ex-husband. Okay, you've been married consider... before, because yeah, sometimes sorry. they like to ask these questions. Yes. Uh, how did you meet your ex-husband? Was he uh, uh, mixed? Was he black? Was he white? Yes. What was he? Uh, you know, so I had a lot of, a lot of problems with my, with my, my ex-husband's family as well. Oh, okay. Because... I'm this color. Oh, okay, yes. because you were. Okay. Yeah. And uh, because her mother, she she was pretty, I can say that she was light, even lighter than my my husband, my ex-husband. Oh, okay, okay. But she's not considered just white. 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 Oh, okay, okay. But she's pretty light. Oh, I, will, okay. I will say like this, okay. like that. And uh, so... I was still the, the girl that, oh, she's but, black. Relax, she's, relax. But your husband, no. was he black or? No, or he, he's, he's like, li, uh, like we say, like light skin. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. So he's light skin. He's, oh, okay. He's, he's, he looks a bit more mixed than yes. a black. Yes. Okay, he's, okay. Re, he's really lighter than me. Oh, okay. It's understandable. Yeah. But just a second. Before you met your husband, did you date other 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 people, other race before you met your your husband? Yeah, yes, and um, most of them they were black. 
most of the, you consider them to be black or they were black like yes. you. Yes. Were they black like me? <laughs> Some of them were black like you. You think? No, I don't think. I'm sure. No, because it's your eyes. The way I, you see. I, I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay, okay. Yes, okay. black like you. Black okay. like you. Like me. Yeah. Yes. So guys, <laughs> she's saying this. If you believe so it, right? My like husband this. was an exception. Oh, okay, in okay. In fact. Oh, okay. My husband was really an exception. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, but I, I always try to to be uh, or to date a person that is okay. black. Oh, That's okay. why now I try to date African people because I, I need black, black. I understand. Just, relax, like, relax. Like, like, like mix. No, I'll black. come. I'll come to that. But <laughs> relax. So, like, you do you do you say like it was difficult for you to date when you were growing up? As an Afro-Brazilian, it was difficult for you to date? Not difficult, not really difficult. Okay. But it was more difficult for me than for my my uh, my family or my friends because I always make uh, Levi's. Yeah, Levi's, yeah. We always called Levi's. Levis, so those yeah. those kind of things. Yeah. But like yeah. Subway, I think they, they, they say Subway. Sambue. But for example, uh, like the, say Sambue. Sambue. You, yes, you have heard Sambue. Oh, yes. No, I have never. It's, it's scary, sometimes, you know? and Because I'm an English teacher, <laughs> sometimes when they pronounce things incorrectly, I just correct them and then they don't. Yes. Or they, they don't speak. Like, <laughs> But I, I will try and then ask some few people maybe the next day. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll just hold the, the, the pamphlet or the, sorry, the, the flyer of yeah, Sambue so and then I'll show it to them. Yes. to ask them how do they pronounce this and then I'll, I'll share it with the world. Mm -hmm. But anyway, guys, if you're watching... It's your